Hello everybody, this is Dave Bensman with Bensman Home Computer Repair and today I'd like to talk about what to look for and avoid in, when you go to purchase a new computer. I've already opened up a little browser here and with some information on it and I'd like to just go over this. I think it might be helpful. Uh, there are really three types of computer to consider uh, when you're in the market for one and, and really there's only one question you need to ask yourself to determine which of those three types of computer uh, you will need that will be best suited for you. And the, the question is, does the computer need to move? Uh, if the computer needs to move, then you're going to need a laptop. And if the computer doesn't need to move, then you don't need a laptop. If you're planning on buying a laptop, and you don't, you're not planning on ever really moving the computer, it's just going to sit in one place, then you're really wasting money because laptops, they generally don't last as long as desktops. And it's because, uh, let's see if we go to the laptop over there, you can kind of see with this one right here, this XPS 15. Uh, yeah, you can see how thin that is. Let's see if we can get a picture up here. Yeah, you can see how thin that is. There's really, you got a motherboard in there. You've got uh, a lot of heat going on. The processor is in there. The graphics chipset, it creates a lot of heat. Air goes into the laptop. It cools down the components, it comes out, and what's left in there is a lot of dust. And because you can't easily open up the case of a laptop, it's actually uh, difficult to clean. So the heat accumulation tends to weaken the components over time. The dust accumulation can add to uh, static issues. Plus you've got issues with uh, the charging ports coming off when they're accidentally hit. They're, they're more fragile than a desktop and they generally, like I said, they don't last as long. They have one advantage over a desktop and that's portability. So only get one if you need to move your computer. If you don't need to move your computer, what you want is a desktop. Um, there are a couple different kinds you want to consider. I tend to recommend Dells because I tend to have the least amount of issues with them. And uh, when you go searching for one, you like let's say you go to the Dell website, um, you're going to be presented with a bunch of choices. There's really only one major choice here, and that's the speed of the processor. There are two companies that make processors. One's AMD, one's Intel. I tend to go with Intel because it runs a bit cooler and they have something like 80 for up 85% of the market. For most people, an i5 processor is going to be sufficient. I would really stay away from the i3, it's a bit slow. The i7 would be for people who, you know, they don't want to sit around and watch their computer get around to doing something. They want to watch their computer, you know, they want to get it done. They want to. They want to get in, get it done, and get out. Uh, i7 is going to be faster than the i5. But let's talk about the i5 because that is going to be adequate for most people. So when we click on the i5 processor, one thing you notice is that the minimum, uh, notice we got it on lowest price. So the cheapest Dell desktop with an i5 processor comes with 8 gigabytes of memory, which also should be sufficient for running Windows 10. It should be fine. I would rather see 12 gigs and it's only $50 more to get the 12 gigs and that would be an adequate computer that would probably last somewhere in the neighborhood of between three to six years um, and uh, as it says it has Windows 10 and it has a terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive and, and it has the uh, latest or, or close to the latest generation uh, i5 processor. Uh, as you get up a bit, you're increasing things uh, up in price a bit. You're increasing, you're going to the XPS, which is more of Dell's uh, higher end uh, computer. And as you notice, this has 24 gigabytes of memory uh, and, it ha and it has a uh, 
<clears throat> something that Dell calls their Optane memory, which I believe is like a, com a compromise. It's not quite a, uh, uh, a solid state drive, but I believe it is, uh, it is, it does kind of function like that. Um, and so, you know, as you go up, you get more memory, you get into the solid state drives. That's, you know, if you want something that's working really fast, uh, that's something that you might want to consider. So for instance, right here, this XPS tower has an eight gigs of memory and it has a 256 gig solid state drive. A solid state drive is basically like a, uh, it's a hard drive that doesn't have any moving parts. It's like a flash drive uh, in the way it works. And uh, that makes your boot up and your shutdown a lot faster and it makes loading programs a lot faster. And that is smaller than a conventional hard drive. Um, and that's why it also has a conventional hard drive. It has a terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive to hold all your data on. And that's only 900 bucks. So I really wouldn't spend a lot more than 900 bucks. I wouldn't spend a lot less than 550, no matter what computer that uh, you decide to get. Now, if you go to the laptops, uh, the 15, the XPS 15, the 15 stands for the 15 inch screen. That's a very common uh, size screen because it's very portable. Um, and you can see right here the XPS 15 is a grand and that comes with a slower, slightly slower processor than that desktop did. Uh, it comes with eight gigabytes of memory, terabyte hard drive, but a 5400 RPM laptop speed drive. Um, and so you can see you're getting less of a computer and you're spending more money, but what you're getting is a portable computer. And uh, that's, you know, for most people that is uh, solid work. Now there are cheaper computers that Dell offer. Uh, there are uh, Inspiron laptops. So if we click on that, uh, you're going to see now this, the build quality is not quite what uh, is in the XPS models, but then again, it's going to be cheaper. So if we click on see here processor and we'll go to the Intel Core i5 and here you see for 510 bucks you get um, a much older and slower i5 processor the 7200U you're getting 8 gigs of memory you're getting that same slower terabyte hard drive and but that's only 510 dollars and if you wanted something that was portable that would be great that would be a great machine if you just had kind of limited use. You just wanted to be able to hop on the internet when you were out and about. Maybe, you know, write that Starbucks screenplay. That would be per that would be perfect for you. Now, there's one computer <clears throat> that I would absolutely and 100% categorically avoid, no matter who you are or what you want your computer to do, and that is the all-in-one. These are, uh, these are all-in-ones. They have touch screens uh, when we say all-in-one let's just click on this right here when we say all-in-one we're talking about a computer that is self-contained the monitor the computer the hard drive the motherboard all of it the whole thing is in this kind of monitor looking configuration and the problem with that is is that you get the same drawbacks that you get with a laptop where everything's self-contained and squeezed in tight um, in a very small, not easy to open or clean uh, configuration. So you're ending up with a heat buildup, you're ending up with dust buildup, you're ending up with all sorts of uh, longevity issues and repair ability issues with the computer. And it doesn't have the one benefit that a laptop has, uh, which is portability. It has to basically sit there and be plugged into a wall. Um, so I would, I would absolutely avoid that. This has eight gigs of, this is, uh, 760 bucks. It has eight gigs of memory. It has, uh, this one only has an i3 processor. Let's see what one is that would have an i5 processor. Let's go here and then let's see what that says okay so there's only one of these that has it's a grand 
and it has a two terabyte hard drive but it is the 5400 so it's basically running at a laptop speed which means it's going to load things more slowly it's going to start more slowly shut down more slowly load programs more slowly than a desktop will it only has eight gigabytes of memory and uh but it does ha and it doesn't have the processor this one has the well, this has the i5 8400 okay so it has the same the same processor but like i said it does not have as fast a hard drive and it costs twice as much as the as the uh the uh desktop version of itself uh, now you will have to add a monitor to the desktop, but you can get a monitor for a couple hundred bucks, which makes this a seven hundred and fifty dollar purchase, and this is still a grand, which is way too much money to spend on something that has less usability uh, than uh, the desktop. So if you can, if you want to move it, if you need to move it, get a laptop. If you don't need to move it, get a desktop. Never get an all-in-one. Uh, if you have any questions about that, feel free to ask them in the um, uh, comments. And uh, please uh, keep checking out my website, BensmanHomeComputerRepair.com, for more of these helpful videos. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope the tutorial on how to use your windows more effectively was of some help i'll be doing more tutorials in the future please like and subscribe uh to my channel and uh that's dave bensman from bensman home computer repair thank you very much